All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha'i Shem, Rekha Kodash. Double honor to the Apostles, a great millstone, teaching us from the same truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessing self so like to the nation of Israel. Take the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemo Shai. Welcome to the Lord's will of the final lesson centered upon this Psalms. Uh, Chapter 1, during 18, you know, you start from the top, we got to read a couple of verses, you know, <clears throat> probably won't go through the whole chapter, but we'll, we'll, read, it. we'll read a few, you know, Lord's will and the is edifying. This is a Psalms, chapter 1, or 18, verse 1, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endure forever. Yeah, and we... The believers of Yah by Shema Shai, those who trust in the Lord, those who believe in the promises, you know, that he made to our forefathers, Abraham, you know, and passed down to Isaac, you know, and Jacob received, you know, and Jacob's name was later changed to Israel, which that promise, that oath that he made with our forefathers was then passed down to the 12 tribes of Israel. That we would have, you know, dominion rulership over the planet Earth, you know, and we in our dead state, you know, not knowing who we were, discontinued from our heritage, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, yet, yet the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, preserved us via the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Him loosing the seals. And that was ultimately the, the mercies of the Heavenly Father laying upon his only begotten son, you see, Yahweh Shai, the iniquity of us all. Let Israel now say that his mercy endure forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endure forever. Let them that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, say that his mercy endure forever. Yet Aaron, the house of the priests, you know, what was their duty to teach, you know, the laws unto the children of Israel, you know, and those that fear the Lord are they who are obedient, you know. So that's us wherein the Lord is making us a, a kingdom of judges and priests, you know, where, uh, you know, where we, you know, are going to ultimately, you know, receive these law slash commandments in our inward parts. We're going to be made perfect. The government body being the one, 144 is going to be set up. You know, they're going to teach these laws according to Isaiah uh, 2 and 1, you know, to what? The, the the nations, you know, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be established down here upon there. It's going to be a righteous kingdom, you know, and those who are going to inherit this promise are those that fear Yah by Shema Shai. You know, in the rest of the two thirds, you know, in their lot when they come back in the reincarnation. I called upon the Lord in distress, and we are in distress here in America, and we are calling upon Yahweh by Shema Shai. We can see that the squeeze of these wicked elites is on, wherein they're trying to uh, suck the life, you know, cause you to be uh, completely uh, dependent on them. By, by putting that squeeze on you, putting that pressure, pressure from beneath, pressure from below, you know? It says, I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Yeah, because the enemies are encamping against us. You know, things are getting tight. But watch how the Lord, you know, he's going to make our, he's going to, he's going to set us in a large place, a, a place of safety. You see? It says, <clears throat> the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord is on our side. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And just as he had confounded the, the, the armies of Egypt, he's going to do the same thing to modern Pharaoh. And the plans of a man, these wicked elites, you know, their, their, their crafty devices that they have planned against us, you know, how can that prosper? You know, if Yahweh by Shema Shai is on our side, you know, what, what, what can a man really do? <laughs> what can a man really do against the Heavenly Father, you know, and His only begotten Son, the armies of heaven? 
What can he really do? Nothing. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. Yeah, all those that are fighting against us. Little do you know, we got the Lord backing us. You know, like it tells you in Exodus 14, the Lord shall fight for us and we shall hold our peace. And that the Egyptians that we see, you know, stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That's what we're doing. We're standing still and we're about to see the desire upon them that hate us. You know, our our desire is for, for them to be taken out of the way, you know, and we're going to be glad when the Lord does these things. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. That's what a lot of these, you know, guys do. Even they have the circumcision, you know, they put in trust in their leaders. You know, we we understand, you know, Apostle and others are great most, and they cannot save us. Every man must work out his own salvation with fear and trembling, and we must look unto our Lord and our and our shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, our deliverer, you see. We must look to him for salvation. You see, so it's better to trust in the Lord, trust in the process, the things that, that uh, Yahweh Shai said. You know, and he came with the message of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, that he will come back and deliver us. You know, he'll come back and, and redeem us. That those that buy under the shadow of the Almighty in the secret place of the Most High shall dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. You know, we're going to be covered. We're going to be protected. It is better to trust in the Lord than to confidence in princes. You know, <clears throat> all nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. And that's why teaching our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the name of Yahweh by Shema Hashai, <coughs> It's so important. It is how we are going to destroy our enemies. <clears throat> the Lord has a great reputation to uphold. You know, wherein uh, we have made, uh, He has made us His people, and He has made, uh, He has become our power. You know, and he, He's gonna uh, uphold His reputation and name. By keeping, uh, by causing great miracles and wonders to happen, you know, for his people's sake, you see, for his great name's sake, you know, wherein he is able to save us, he's going to show that power. And that's why that name is so important. I'm reading again, all nations can pass me about. These heathen nations are coming down with great wrath, mainly Esau, Edom, and, you know, he he's spearheading everything. And these nations are joining hand in hand with the wicked. All nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into and are safe. You see? They can pass me about like bees, you know, and bees, uh, you know, bees fly. You, you see, you see it, you know, they, uh, they swarm, you see, they are, they're quenched as the fire of thorns for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. Everything Esau, Elam is doing you know, is, you know, set up so the Israelite man can fall. The Israelite man, uh, you know, can stumble, you know, uh, be, uh, you know, caught up with sins and iniquity. But the Lord is, is guiding us. You know, he's given us this truth. He's given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He's given us the instructions onto everlasting life. The Lord is helping us, you know, in, in, in all manner uh, of things. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. So the Lord is our strength, you know, and, and we're singing praise, you know, and our victory is in the name of Yahweh Shema Shai. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The Lord, the right hand of the Lord doeth violent, uh, 
violently, you know, I always have a hard time saying this word. I you know, I can I can say it in my head, uh, violently. You know, <clears throat> the the Lord do it violently, violently. It's like your brothers. You know, let's look up this word. You know, let's look up in the the blue leather. In the right hand of the heavenly Father, shoot, <laughs> the right hand is Yahweh Shai. It says strength, might. It says army strength, efficiency. Mm. Strong to the, to display valor, valor. Um, this is on Psalms one eighteen, and let's let's uh let's, let's start verse fifteen again. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. Who are the righteous? The the righteous, you know. Ultimately, those who repentant, those that turn back, you know, onto Yah by Shema Shai, those that during this grace period they sought the Lord, you know, ten times more. It says the right hand of the Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, do it violently. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth violently. You know, <clears throat> it's crazy. Whenever you know. I gotta hear the word, be able to say it. So, like here, brothers, you know, I have trouble saying that word. But the right hand of the Heavenly Father, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, He's going to be exalted when, when what? When He deliver His remnant. He comes down and, and, and delivers us. How, how, how is the Lord going to deliver us? You know, scriptures talk about how you must, before thou may uh, spoil the good of, the, of a strong man, you must uh, first bound him up. You know, and Esau Edom, he's about to be just, he's about to just be destroyed. You know, his goods are going to be spoiled, you know, which were his goods, <laughs> you know. This man has stolen us, you know, and he's using us as, as uh, you know, as his, you know, as captives, you know, as his workers, you know. But the, but the Lord is about to come and deliver us out of the hands of the wicked. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of Yahweh Shema Shai, and that's what's going to happen. The Lord is going to cause us; uh, it's causing us to live, you know, by giving us this breath, this breath of life, you know. And we're declaring His works before all the world, you know, telling the people what's about to come, telling the people it's that is Yahweh Shema Shai about to do these things. But He's about to cause; He's about to command uh, deliverance. Uh, for Jacob, you know, this is um, Psalms 44 and um, 4. Thou art my king, O Yahweh, command deliverance for Jacob, you know, and that's what's about to happen. That's why those that fear the Lord are going to be rejoicing in his mercy. You see, this, this is this was coming down. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. Through the name of the Lord, you see, we're going we're gonna to tread them down, you know, through that name. That's how we're going to overcome, you know. We, we got to give uh, Yahweh Shema Shai his praise and his due, his due honor, his honor that's due unto him, you know. And that, and that comes with us, you know, doing the things that he commanded us to do, you know, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season to fear him, you know, to be an Israelite uh, to, uh, inwardly and not only outwardly. This is how we're going to get the victory through thee will we push down our enemies through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us el these elites Esau Edom. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemy, and hast put them to shame that hate us. In Yahweh we boast all the day long, and praise thy name forever. And that's what the remnant of Yahweh by Shema Shah, the elect, are praising that holy name. You know? So, you know... Ultimately, you know, 
we got we we got to fill these shoes. You know, we got to put on. Therefore, as the elect of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we got to make sure we're praising uh the Lord. You know, while we have this grace period, putting our trust in Him, fearing Him. You know. And, and understanding that we do these things and we uphold, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai's, you know, great namesake by, you know, uh, you know, that reputation, you know, uh, for, for his holy namesake, right? Because he gave us his laws. And we keep those laws. The Lord, you know, Lord's one part of that number. He's going to save us. But, you know, with that, you know, Lord's one of the final, I'm going to say, Shalom.